Good morning and Happy New Year. I'm Diana Holland, U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, and from the very historic fort of Old San Juan, I'd like to provide an update on the Corps' hurricane response efforts in Puerto Rico. We currently have over 5,000 people on the ground. That includes Corps employees plus contractors continuing to work hard to return Puerto Rico to normal condition. We have continued to work hard on our mission assignments, achieving new milestones during the holiday season, and here are a few of those milestones. During the week of Christmas, our temporary emergency power team installed the 1,000th generator in Puerto Rico. That exceeds the number of generators installed following Hurricanes Katrina, Rita, and Sandy combined, and the number required here continues to climb. We've also recently established five microgrids at Culebra, Manabo, Patias, Naguabo, and Yabacoa. These are areas that don't expect to get power from the grid in the near future, and we wanted to employ alternative solutions to bring some relief to those communities. Microgrids also give us a chance to test the system, find faults in the nearby line sooner rather than later. We are working closely with FEMA and PREPA to determine additional locations that might be right for this initiative. As of last week, we've cleaned up 1.7 million cubic yards of debris across 52 municipalities. And as of this week, we've installed over 30,000 blue roofs across all 78 municipalities. There is much work to be done, and consequently, understanding the remaining needs, FEMA has extended the blue roof application deadline to 10 January. But most importantly, we can continue to prioritize repairs to the electrical grid. We, working with PREPA and other industry experts, have reached almost 70% of pre-storm load, and just over half the customers who had power before the hurricane have the potential for power now. I know there's a lot of frustration as to why this is taking so long to restore electricity to all of Puerto Rico. There are many reasons for the duration of this effort, and we've been honest and forthright about those challenges from the beginning. Those reasons include age and condition of the infrastructure before Hurricane Maria, the challenges associated with the amount of materials that had to be shipped from the mainland to Puerto Rico. Of note, some of the materials arriving today were actually placed on order 45 to 60 days ago and terrain and accessibility to the lines and towers where work needs to occur is another challenging aspect of this task. Repairing the grid is a tough mission, but if it were easy, then repairs would have been completed long ago. Instead, FEMA and the government of Puerto Rico requested assistance from the Corps of Engineers, and we did not shy away. Instead, we stepped up and are determined to make a difference each day that we are here. The 2017 hurricane season was tough on our region, in Florida, the U.S. Virgin Islands, and Puerto Rico. The response effort applied by the Corps of Engineers in the South Atlantic Division has exceeded all metrics of any storm in the Corps' history. We look forward to 2018, a year when our region will heal, recover, and be stronger. We are proud to be a part of this effort, and our employees are so proud and dedicated that they remained here during the holidays to continue to work. And on behalf of the Corps of Engineers, we'd like to wish everyone a happy and healthy new year. Estamos aquí, SAONS, and building strong.